Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will talk about how to find the range of rational functions. In our range part 1 video, we talked about what a range is, so watch it to refresh your memory if needed. First, we'll talk about how to find the range of rational functions when the denominator is a linear expression. The range is whenever the inverse is defined and real. In order to find the range, first find the inverse of the function. Substitute f of x with y if needed. Next, find the domain of the inverse. And finally, write the range. The range is the domain of the inverse, except you substitute y for x. Next, we will talk about the range of rational functions when the denominator is a quadratic expression, which is a little trickier to find. The range is when the discriminant is greater than or equal to zero. In order to find the range, first multiply the equation by the denominator, substituting f of x with y if needed. Next, find the discriminant. The discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Next, set the discriminant greater than or equal to zero and solve for y. Sometimes making a table to see when the discriminant is positive and zero is helpful. Finally, write the range. Let's see some examples. First example, find the range of the function y equals x plus 3 over x minus 4. Since the denominator is a linear expression, we first want to find the inverse of the function. So we want to solve for x. We multiply the denominator to both sides and subtract 3 from both sides. Now we subtract yx from both sides, and we can pull out an x on the right side. Next, we divide both sides by 1 minus y. Lastly, we substitute y for x and set it equal to the inverse of y. Next step. We find the domain of the inverse. If you forget how to do this, check out our video on finding domains. We take the denominator and set it equal to 0 and solve for x. So x equals 1. Therefore, the domain is when x does not equal 1. So x is less than 1 or x is greater than 1. Last step, we write the range. For the range, we replace x with y. So the range is y is less than 1 or y is greater than 1. Here's a graph of our function to verify our range. Next example, find the range of the function y equals 4 over x squared minus 2x. Since the denominator is a quadratic expression, we first multiply the denominator to both sides of the equation. Next, we want to find the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. We will distribute and subtract 4 from each side to write the function in standard quadratic form. We plug in the values for a, b, and c, and next we simplify this. Lastly, we can pull out a 4y. Next, we set the discriminant greater than or equal to 0 and solve for y. So we set 4y times y plus 4 greater than or equal to 0. Now we can divide each side by 4. To solve this inequality, first we set y times y plus 4 equal to 0 and solve for y. We get y equals 0 and y equals negative 4. Next, we want to find the values of y for which the inequality holds. So we test values in the inequalities y is less than or equal to negative 4, y is greater than or equal to negative 4 and less than or equal to 0, and y is greater than or equal to 0. You can do this on your own, and you'll find that the inequality holds for when y is less than or equal to negative 4, or y is greater than or equal to 0. For the last step, we write the range, which is when the discriminant is greater than or equal to 0. So the range is when y is less than or equal to negative 4, or y is greater than or equal to 0. Let's look at the graph of this function to verify the range. Last example, we want to find the range of the function y equals x over x squared plus 4. Since the denominator is a quadratic expression, first we multiply the denominator to both sides of the equation. Next, we find the discriminant. So we distribute y and subtract x from both sides of the equation. We then rewrite the equation to be in standard quadratic form. 
Next, we plug in the values for A, B, and C, and then simplify. Next step, we set the discriminant greater than or equal to zero and solve for Y. We add one to each side and then divide each side by negative 16. We next use this identity to solve for Y. We get Y is less than or equal to 1 fourth and Y is greater than or equal to negative 1 fourth. Lastly, we write the range, which is when the discriminant is greater than or equal to zero. Since we solved this above, we can just rewrite the inequality. So the range is when y is greater than or equal to negative one-fourth and y is less than or equal to one-fourth. Let's look at the graph of this function to verify our range. As you can see, finding the range of rational functions can be pretty tricky. So for more help or practice on this topic, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.